Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive channel. If you thought the drama with P. Diddy was over, you are wrong because there are more lawsuits coming Diddy's way. Now there's a producer named Rodney Jones who goes by Hitman Little Rod and he is suing Diddy for inappropriately touching him, drugging him and threatening him. He's also suing Diddy's chief of staff, Christina Corum, his son, Justin Combs, and the CEO of Universal Music Group and the former CEO of Motown Records, Ethiopia Hab. So he's suing these executives because he feels like they have condoned Diddy's behavior and allowed him to do illegal activity under their umbrella. Allegedly, Diddy was doing a lot of crazy stuff while Rodney Jones was producing his album. Now, Rodney did produce Diddy's latest album, The Love Album, and he actually traveled and lived with Diddy for over a year while producing this album. And according to him, he claims that Diddy came on to him multiple times and inappropriately touched his private parts. He said he was forced to work in Diddy's bathroom as Diddy showered with no clothes on. And when he raised concerns about his behavior to Diddy's chief of staff, Christina, she said, oh, Diddy's just trying to show you that he likes you, <laughs> allegedly. Now, Rodney, of course, was very, very disturbed, but allegedly it didn't stop there. He also claims that he was forced to arrange Diddy's freak off sessions with different escorts. And he claims that he wasn't the only one sent to do this. Stevie J was doing this. And also Diddy's son, Justin Combs, was allegedly recruiting young escorts to his home. And Rodney says that he has a lot of footage to back up his claims. There's this one image of Diddy allegedly with an underage female. And Rodney alleged that Diddy would be serving these women tequila and vodka laced with drugs. He said that Diddy would have parties, yacht parties and house parties with underage girls. And he claimed that he saw a rapper and an R&B singer consorting with some of these girls, allegedly. And in the footnote of the lawsuit, it says that one of the rappers was a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. So we could assume that's Meek Mill. Also, the R&B singer had a previous incident with a Bayesian billionaire. And the only R&B singer that comes to mind on that one is Chris Brown, because we know that Chris had an incident with Rihanna. Rodney even believes that Diddy drugged him early last year. He claimed that he woke up naked, dizzy and confused in the bed with Combs and two escorts. Shout. He also claims that Diddy was trying to groom him into having a sexual relationship with him. And he even said that Diddy forced him to watch this video of Stevie J allegedly having sex with another man. Now this video wasn't of Stevie J, it actually was of the porn star Knockout, but I guess Rodney was under the impression that this was Stevie J because Diddy led him to believe that. But either way, this does hurt his credibility because he didn't include a picture of Stevie, he included a picture of Knockout. Also, Rodney alleged that Diddy had Young Miami bring in her female cousin to perform acts on him. Now, he alleged that Diddy, Young Miami, and her cousin were out here doing coke and they tried to get him to do coke and he was like, no, he left and went into the bathroom and Young Miami's cousin attempted to perform acts on him and he pushed her off. Now, this doesn't look good for Young Miami because there's been rumors around that she is allegedly Diddy's Ghislaine Maxwell. She's out here soliciting girls, bringing girls to Diddy. She got her cousin out here trying to push up on Rodney and it's just not a good look. And she already implicated herself when she was taunting Diddy's other girlfriend, Gina. And she said, if I wanted you to eat my pee, Diddy would have had you on your knees. Oh, you an eater. So she basically confirmed that Diddy forces people to perform sexual acts and she bragged about it. So it kind of makes her look bad too. And the allegations do not stop there. Rodney recalled a time where he saw Diddy bragging about shooting people and he displayed his gun collection to him. He alleged that Diddy said that he was responsible for the shooting at the nightclub that happened back in 1999. And the rapper Shine actually took the charge for him and he spent close to a decade in prison. When Diddy showed his guns to Rodney, Rodney was very concerned. Diddy not only had a lot of power, but he was also very dangerous. Also, he recalled an incident where Diddy had a heated exchange with his son, Justin Combs, 
and Justin's friend G got shot during that incident. This is crazy. If this story is true, this is crazy. And I could now understand why Justin's mother, Misa, called Diddy out because apparently Diddy has been a bad influence on Justin. I mean, Justin is out here allegedly participating in trafficking and he's getting drunk and getting DUIs and getting involved in shootouts with his daddy. I mean, this is crazy. This is crazy. If it's true, it's crazy. Also, Rodney claims that Diddy introduced him to Cuba Gooden Jr on one of his yacht parties and even Cuba Gooden Jr. started touching him inappropriately. So there were a lot of allegations made in this lawsuit and Rodney Jones is seeking $30 million. So he's trying to pull a Cassie. However, Diddy is not gonna settle with him as easily as he did with Cassie. In fact, his legal team clapped back immediately and his lawyer, Sean Hawley said, we have overwhelming indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies. Our attempts to share this proof with Mr. Jones attorney, Tyrone Blackburn have been ignored as Mr. Blackburn refuses to return our calls. We will address these outlandish allegations in court and take all appropriate action against those who make them. So Diddy is willing to fight this lawsuit and I wouldn't be surprised if he wins. I wouldn't be surprised if he beats it. And even though Rodney made some wild allegations, which I believe a lot are true, the problem he's gonna run into is how well he could back up those allegations. He claims he has footage, but is the footage gonna show proof of all of the things that Diddy allegedly did? We don't know. Is he gonna show proof of the other people who are implicated in this lawsuit? we don't know and rodney is going up against some powerful people not just diddy but the ceo of universal music group lucian grange he listed him as a defendant so i don't know how successful he's going to be with this whole case i would hope that he gets his justice if he's telling the truth but i just don't know and also another thing to consider is rodney's intentions Rodney initially had issues with Diddy because Diddy was trying to snatch his publishing away. He was trying to take his royalties and all of the money that he was owed for producing this project. And he put in a lot of work on the album. He contributed a lot to it, but Diddy was not trying to play fair at all. So his real issue is with Diddy not paying him for his contribution to the Love album. He never brought up Diddy's illegal or illicit activity. He never brought up the fact that Diddy harassed him and groped him and did some inappropriate things. He never brought that up until now. And I think it is a little convenient for him to bring this up in the lawsuit now because he saw how Cassie was able to win and settle very quickly. So he thought this would be a way to force Diddy's hand. But Diddy and his legal team are basically gonna argue that this is nothing more than a money grab and they're gonna try to find many ways to discredit him. And for all we know, he could very well be telling the truth, but if he doesn't have hard evidence to back up all of the allegations, and if he doesn't have good legal counsel or representation, this will be a hard case for him to win. But I do sympathize with him over the whole fight for his publishing and royalties because I think it's messed up what Diddy is allegedly doing to him. He's basically trying to snatch the money that he is rightfully owed for the album. And it's not right. It's just not right. I've been working on an album. Um, I took a year off straight working on this album. That album is the Love album, Off the Grid by Diddy. Um, and it's Grammy nominated right now as we speak. Um, I should be um, celebrating, but the truth is I'm not. Taking this album on has required so much time, um, you know, months and at, at, at a time, 16 hours to 24 hours a day. Um, sometimes, you know, Diddy will request certain works to be done and tell us don't go to sleep until it's done. And, and the truth is we'll be up for days trying to accomplish that. I've tried to get my business straight with them on this album, but the truth is they're not playing fair. They, they hit me on below the belt on so many situations just 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 dealing with this it's, it's the contract that they gave me and the offer that they gave me was just disgusting the 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 producer fee pennies and on top of that these guys are trying to steal my publishing i can't go for that so i'm fighting back 
he's a fighter. Um, but I'm 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 gonna put in this fight. I gotta do it for myself, my rights, and most importantly, my kids. Taking my publishing or stealing it is it's just it's I'm not gonna let that happen. Doing this situation is not easy. Taking Puff to court, suing him is not easy. I don't have the 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 monies that it's gonna take to fight him in court. So I'm just asking, you know, if you if you in support, please the link is in my bio to my GoFundMe. Um the the money we go will go towards my attorney fees and to just make sure I'm keeping my head above water. Rodney also posted this video of Diddy and his associates joking about taking his publishing. Listen to this. This is messed up. Go to hang I run shit in this I run shit. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Little Rod ain't worth giving this kingdom to if we don't control his publishing. I can solve his efforts with three other human beings. He's eating at our table, and I like his backstory, but you need to have other people. We, it's hard to work with him unless we have his pub. He's a piece of shit human, but we do not need his talent unless we can work with him. Now, Stevie J responded to this post and said, post the whole video. Don't make it seem like dudes sitting around joking on you and you didn't produce nine songs on this project. Adding a piano in a song doesn't make you the producer. Adding bass on a song definitely doesn't make you a producer. Tell the whole story on how you came in as an engineer. Don't get selective amnesia and don't try to make the homie look like he's stealing from you because clearly I know that ain't the case. And Rodney said, yo, how dare you? My number ain't changed. Speaking of that, your name is next to mine as a producer on Deliver Me and no one else touched that track but me and Jay Dilla. I've never been known as an engineer in the game as long as I've worked. In fact, Mixed by Source is the actual engineer that worked on this album and hasn't been credited as one. I'm confused because if I'm an engineer, why am I credited as a producer? And this video clearly speaks to them plotting on my pub. But what I'm most certain is you're possibly working with them against me i don't give no f's about no danger zone them threats ain't never worked hashtag love rodney is frustrated clearly and i'm glad that he said something it's really messed up that stevie is trying to downplay his contribution to the love album if you look on his instagram page you could clearly see how much he was involved on this whole project and he needs to be paid what he's owed he really does now, as far as the other allegations he made about Diddy, I don't know how they're gonna hold up in court, but we'll see how this whole crazy story unfolds. I do not put anything past Diddy. I really don't. So we'll see if more information comes out about this. Anyway, tell me what y'all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.